Here's a photo hack that I wanted to share with you guys. So I want to talk to you about that on the other side. So without any further ado, let's go. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is John from Flippin' Ain't Easy. And you guys know that I like to now list on my phone with the app. It's just something that I've gravitated towards. Uh, list the items on my phone or make my drafts and then I go onto the PC if I need to to change something or might spruce it up then I'll do that now you guys know I also like to use background removal tools I use right now photo room but I may just change my tune on using photo room after my my uh, subscription is up for their service I think that's like February for me, I'm just looking at the way I have my layout. Now, if you guys know, I have the white background using the white uh, PVC roll. It's like a 40 by 80 roll. And basically, I put that over my makeshift table. It's not anything special, guys, my photo area. It's simply a fold-out table, the kind you see maybe at a yard sale or at a picnic, okay? And I have the PVC roll rolled over, form-fitted to the table with a little bit of tape. And... It works, guys. It just works. I have good lighting, LCD lighting on each side, and it just works for me. And I take decent pictures. I use my iPhone to do it. And I notice, though, even with the lighting that I have, that I'm dealing with kind of a grayish white background. Now, that's fine. Uh, a lot of us have that. Um, a lot of you guys use a white background and don't use a background removal service. And of course, even I think the eBay one is kind of spotty hit and miss the background removal on that and maybe take you more time than it's worth just to make sure it looks right because it doesn't always remove all the, the background uh, from the image. So putting that aside, the eBay background removal tool, um, for me, I just don't know if I want to spend another 60 bucks for the year for something that maybe I can fix myself. And so what I want to do is I want to show you the method that I use to really take this uh, background that's kind of a grayish white and make it look more closer to a stock photo than just a blah photo and a photo that'll actually pop versus one that's just kind of plain. So let's go over to my computer. We'll, we'll uh, take a look and, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Just a quick tip to show you guys uh, for those of you who don't have a background removal program and this does require you to have a, a white backdrop of some sort some of you guys use like a like a sheet or something like that uh, I just simply have a PVC vinyl uh, backdrop I think it's uh, like 40 by 80 and I use it in a roll so I just let it go from the wall down to the bottom of my uh, table and I kind of form fit it to the table and then I use two LED lights that provide pretty good uh, light that I can adjust it between like your yellows and your blue tint and to find the right lighting. Now this is this Jets hat and I'll blow this up a little bit so you guys can see it here. Oops. So this Jets hat is one that I did this on. So it doesn't look that bad, right? It looks very close to maybe using a background removal tool. And so same thing with his Diamondbacks hat. This was not used, there was no background removal tool used on this. I normally use Photo, photo Room. Uh, however, um, when Jenna helps me do the listings and she doesn't have access to that program uh, because she'd have to log into her phone under uh, iOS, Apple under my login. And so she just doesn't want to do that. So when we have that situation. You'll you'll create the the listing. Now this was created on the app. You guys know I like to list only on the app now. So let's go down to uh, that's another one I did. Let's go down to this Phoenix Suns hat. So this is another one I picked up for like fifty cents at a yard sale, right? So I'm going to edit this hat. I edit the listing. And these were created on the app. You guys know I like to list on the app. So now you can't really do this on the app because their brightness function doesn't work the same way. So you click on brightness 
and anywhere between 20 and 40 will usually do the trick. Watch it, keep an eye on um, the hat, okay? If it starts to change colors dramatically, then you, you're going too far. But you just want to go as far as you can, removing the brightness, without it really affecting the hat. Now, you're gonna get some shadowing here under the bill. And if you look at product photos, um, like on some like some places like Target and that type of thing, you'll still see some shadowing underneath the item. So I think here, I mean, I could go further, but it's just gonna make it a lighter bill and I don't want that. So I'm gonna bring it down to about 36. 36. I, I never go, over 40 because it just whitewashes it. Now this here, this setting down here will kind of sharpen things a little bit and you can use that, but it's, see what it does? It does the black, it really makes it too black and you can't see the features uh, on the hat on the top. So I'm gonna leave that at zero most cases, okay? Then hit apply, save, get out of that. Now you see that my photo went from this here to the right to a really nice clean white background and I suppose you could go and do it for all the photos here in the listing but for me the key is to make sure your gallery photo has that nice white background and the reason is you want when you appear in a search, you want your, your photo to pop, okay? I think this dull gray background, even though it was taken on a white backdrop with good lighting, it still comes off as like a grayish off-white. And your, your items will tend to, to pop more on a very clean white background than a grayish looking one, in my opinion. Um, do what looks best for you, ultimately, but this is just one tip that I would have um, for you if you just don't want to spend money on a background removal tool and uh, I, I think it just works right set that first photo to make it look as nice as possible and I think everything else will take care of itself then you just go down and you want to uh, save uh, revise it and that is my tip for you today and look at that nice background here looks really good so what do you think guys comment down below let me know your thoughts on this i mean it's elementary i mean for those of you who are seasoned ebay vets out there it's probably something like look i already knew about this but there's a lot of people out there that are uh, maybe oblivious to that maybe they're new maybe they have been doing it a certain way for a certain amount of time and they weren't really sure uh, or because of the new lister, it's a little different, but maybe they just didn't think about it. So this video is really designed for those who just kind of want to uh, make their photos look a little better without spending any more money than they already have. They already have that grayish background. And this is one way to really make those photos pop and not pay any money to do that. So do me a favor, hit the like button. If you enjoyed the content, subscribe to the channel, and of course, hit that notification bell so that if uh, you know, we make a video uh, or go live, then you are going to be notified. So guys, little things, little things like in improving the quality of your photos is gonna go a long way to um, improving the quality of your listing and just maybe help you make that sale that maybe you wouldn't have made. But yet, this is just another example of how sometimes flipping ain't easy and i want you guys to have an excellent rest of your week and we will talk to you very soon